Jaegers 416 is first on this list. We're going to start off with the suppressor for each of these tests because the suppressor has no recoil mitigation. So we're going to look at that raw pattern. Then we're going to compare it to the flash hider, compensator, and muzzle brake. And if the gun has an angled grip, we'll try that out too. So here is the suppressor pattern. So the 416 naturally has a slight bit of rightward deviation, especially about halfway through the spray. And at the end of the spray, the, tail, the very tail end of the spray, it just starts to kick to the right for the last few shots. Let's try out the flash hider. Okay, it looks like there was no discernible difference. I mean, it seems like the actual side-to-side -side spacing is slightly tighter. Compensator. Seems like there's not as much rightward deviation with comp. Muzzle brake. And with muzzle brake, it looks like it still caps out uh, towards the end there with that with that final bit of spray. Honestly, out of all of these, it's probably either going to be comp or flash hider, in my opinion. Let's try to control that raw recoil just a second. Uh, I mean, it's doable. Maybe you can get away with running suppressor on this gun. I don't know. I mean, if you pull down hard enough, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But I don't like the uh, I don't like the side to side. I think suppressor is definitely usable with the 416. But if you're not comfortable with it, I wouldn't fault you for it. Let's try out the angled grip and a suppressor. That's hmm. I think it's doable, guys. I think it's doable. The only issue is that you know it's going to be a little bit more difficult to hit the head. I think. Yeah, I think it's great for body shots, but this game isn't really a body shot game, is it? Depending on who you ask. Yeah, it's a body shot melter with the angled grip, but... That that shakiness for the headshot is kind of tough to justify. If you don't mind missing that headshot, I think that the time to kill on the 416 with the... Uh, but the 38 damage rating for a gun like this on defense is pretty solid. So I think you can probably get away with body shotting... Uh, with the suppressor maybe angled if you really don't care about the recoil that much. But if you're trying to be more precise, I can't recommend it. There's there's too much. It's just too difficult to do. So in short, I don't think you can run the 416 with like naked recoil mitigation. I think that if you want to run angled grip and some kind of barrel attachment, that's fine. Or if you want to run suppressor and foregrip, those two options are pretty solid. Those are probably going to be the best bang for your buck. But I, I wouldn't just run like suppressor angled. I would not recommend that. I think it's doable with the angled and something like a comp. Now, what about extended barrel? That's something a lot of people are probably going to ask about. So with a 38 damage rating, this is the damage the 416 is going to do in three shots. 114 in three shots, which is going to kill one armors and two armors, but not three armors. But since you're on defense, the only three armors you're going to be running into are going to be like Fuse, Monty, and Gridlock. So that's not really an issue. So it still has that 114 in three shots at 20 meters, which is pretty far away. Uh, if you're going to be spawn peaking, you know, back on some year one energy with the 416. That's going to three shot Ash from 30 meters if you're going to peak from that freaking far away. Which is kind of a difficult spray to make. So this is like, I could only recommend this for really, really specific, like super far away spawn peaks. Not really anything else. And that's kind of an isolated thing. It's not going to be useful in most situations. Don't even think about trying to run this thing with an angled and extended barrel. Just don't. 30 meters without the extended barrel, it's like one. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, if you really want to three-shot Ash from 30 meters away, yeah, extended barrel is for you. Uh, for every other gunfight you'll be taking throughout the, th the course of three minutes, I just, I just can't see the reason why. So, final recommendations. I think if you want to run suppressor, I wouldn't run angled. I think you got to run the foregrip for the most amount of consistency. Uh, but if you want to run angled, I think that Flash Hider and Comp are great for you. Or if you just want a lot more recoil control, just the absolute most, you know, Comp and Foregrip are going to do that for you too. But I would not run this thing uh, with naked recoil. I would not run it without any kind of recoil mitigation at all. I think you're uh, you're putting yourself in a difficult situation there. All right, we got the PPD 3438. So let's try out this recoil pattern. All right, so as you can see, it kind of has a snaking pattern up and to the right and then up and to the right again. So theoretically, you know, it's pretty linear based off of that. 
If you pull down, you can actually get a pretty tight group from a variety of ranges. And if you couldn't tell already, this video is sponsored by Enlisted. Guys, Enlisted is a free-to-play World War II FPS game with a big emphasis on authenticity, but still feeling accessible to the average person. The game's available cross-platform on PC like I'm playing right now, but it's also available on the current and previous generation of consoles. So PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, S, all of that. The game's variety of settings, as you can see from these different campaigns, is massive, ranging from Northern Africa to Normandy and the Eastern Front. They're also going to add the Pacific Front as well pretty soon. There is a ton of attention to detail based on the, on the uniform designs, for instance, right? They're all period accurate accurate to the environment that they're in in the winter, right? This is when the Battle of Stalingrad takes place, you know, you can see that they have these, you know, really heavy uh, winter trench coats with the with the classic kind of kind of um, fur-lined tanker hat. And here, when it gets a little bit warmer, you can see the uh, the soldiers are wearing different kinds of uniforms. I know that this this seems kind of basic, but in <laughs> in an FPS, uh, you know, pop history kind of environment where I think a lot of this stuff is is totally overlooked, it's, uh, it's really refreshing to see some attention to detail with these kinds of games. I think the game is perfect for military history buffs looking for a different coat of paint. There is a link in the description. Click that link, download the game for free. It's available on PC, Xbox, X, and Series S, and PlayStation 5. Clicking that link in the description will get you a free bonus, that bonus being three days of premium time and several orders for troops and weapons. Okay, so Thermignosis 556 is a body shot melter. This thing in three shots does 141 damage. That is absurd. That will three shot three armors, two armors, and one armors. Very quickly, too, if I might add. One, two, three. That's ridiculous. So, that being in mind, Despite the rate of fire being somewhat low at 690, I don't think it's that big of an issue. I think if you can, if it, it gives it a little bit more controllability, in my opinion, he says as he fucking sprays all the way to the left. And that's the only thing about the 5.56 is we're going to see this thing has a ton of leftward deviation. This thing loves to kick to the left. That's the only problem. So this being in mind, you're either going to equip it at really long range to snipe, kind of, from a distance, because this thing can run high zoom scopes for the most part. Or, you're gonna play just a tiny bit more aggro with it. Anyway, let's try out the flash hider. So this actually manages to keep the uh, the recoil from bottoming out with that slight little pattern towards the left. Kind of like the, uh, the rightward pattern we saw with the 416. Compensator. Looks like it still gets to that end of the pattern there. But, the leftward pull is not as strong. This is the base pattern here in uh, in light blue, and with compensator, it doesn't pull to the left quite as much. Muzzle break. So theoretically, lower rate of fire, this should help just a tiny bit. And, eh, doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. So with flash hider, it seems like it kept the, the recoil from bottoming out with that little, like, that end of the pattern kind of thing towards the left side. But with muzzle break, it kept it from going to the left as much, which is weird because I thought the whole point of muzzle break is that it reduced like the, the bounce after the first shot. Yeah, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think flash rider gives you the best of both worlds. I mean, compensator I don't really think is necessary because the deviation is predictable enough that you can actually counteract it yourself. So really it kind of comes down to whether or not you want to really deal with that upward and leftward pull with the suppressor if that's what you're if that's what you're going for. So let's try angled because this thing has an angled grip available. This is what I like to call the peak test. I do this uh, with angled grip guns to kind of get a feel for how reliable it is to hit that shot around a corner. Because, you know, if you're going to be ADS around the corner anyway, that kind of defeats the purpose of running angled grip, right? You want to be able to play aggro with it. So I think it passes the test there. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Fragmite's back, baby. I like it. That's pretty, that's pretty fun. Now, Suppressor. Can we run it naked? You know you can? You can. I don't, mm, that's pretty easy to control. Really have to get, so, okay, here's the thing. You really, really have to get used to this, like, leftward pull. You have to counteract it. You have to pull your mouse down to the right. And here's the thing, when you're playing Thermite and Osa, you know, you, I could probably, I can see an argument for being able to quick peek off of like Osa's shield, 
But, you know, you're a support character, right? So you're not going to be trying to take uh, gunfights as aggressively. This is going to be an up to you kind of deal. I think that the 556 you can run naked um, if you're willing to, you know, learn that 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 slight like pull down to the right to counteract the uh, the leftward kick kind of deal. But if you're trying to hit like really precise shots from a distance, right? Like let's say you're trying to hold uh, you know, you're trying to hold a cross for a post plant. That's a situation you're going to find yourself in Osa and Thermite a lot with. Um, you know, how much are you really getting out of like this this kind of aggro um, setup you got going on here. You might just want to go with that absolute amount of control possible and just, you know, remove as many variables as possible so that you can hit that shot. Um, it's it's up to you. I think that this is one of those cases with the 5.56 where really you, you can run whatever the hell you want. I, I think that every combination... I think that any combination of, of anything here is is pretty solid. So go with what's good for you. Okay, so some maniac at Ubisoft thought, let's put an angled grip on some of the LMGs. I have a compensator on. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um... And quick peek. Uh, that's gonna be a tough sell from me personally. Let's try. Uh, let's try foregrip, huh? It's probably a lot better, isn't it? Wow, it is. It is actually slightly better. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna say that angled on these guns is a no go. We're just gonna say that suppressor. I just, I just, I just don't get the point. So this is kind of what, what I think Ubisoft is trying to get at here. I think what they want LMGs to be are support weapons. You know, you, you just like, you get to an Aang and it's supposed to be kind of like a Negev from CS. You get to an Aang and then you just, you just hold mouse one on that head angle or crouch level angle that somebody can peek through. And it's great for post plants, right? Like, okay, I don't want somebody. It literally suppressive fire. Just suppressive fire, okay? Military LARP guys out there. That that's what that's what these things are supposed to be now. And you just do that. That's what you do. But you have to pull the crap out of your mouse to the left, especially with this gun, because as you can see, this thing goes. Pfft. I I personally don't really think LMGs are viable in this current meta. There's not much to talk about here. I mean. Like, I, I think you should try to get as much recoil mitigation as possible if you're going to run LMGs. Okay, now I'm going to try to actually control this pattern here. Oh, boy. All right, you need a giant mouse pad, and you might have to raise your sensitivity a little bit. I don't think LMGs are viable right now. We're going to move on with this one. Frost Sterling got its 1.5 scope back. Pog. Poggers. And you can run a foregrip on it now, which this thing was already a laser beam. So this is pretty, this is also pog. Multiple pog moments. Let's put the suppressor on and see what happens. Okay, it, it doesn't get a lot easier than that. Angled. Uh, like wh what recoil? Wh where? Where? Done. Like what else do we need to talk about? Look at this crap. Look at this. Look. Angle grip suppressor, go. Done. I mean, like... Pfft. Extended barrel, I guess if you want to go for really, really long peaks, uh, this thing has a damage rating of 45. Really high for an SMG. Here we go. One, two, three. One of five kills Ash from five million miles away. I just... I don't even... You can probably just hit the head anyway, because there's no recoil. Why do you even need the extended barrel on? This is literally the Star Wars blaster. I mean, it is the Star Wars blaster that the stormtroopers use. It's metaphorically and literally the Star Wars blaster from freaking Star Wars. Suppressor angled grip. Next. 9x19 Vitiaz, the Capcan and Azami SMG. As far as I understand, Capcan gets a 1.5, Azami does not. Suppressor foregrip. Okay, so a fair bit of rightward kick, especially towards the middle. Flash hider. 
Ooh, okay, why does that have more right kick? The heck? That doesn't seem to do anything. Let me do that again. Okay, I don't understand that at all. Compensator. That reduces the right. Okay, that's pretty strong. That's pretty nice. I like that. Remember, Flash Hider is green, and it kicks more to the right, which I don't know how that makes any sense at all. Muzzle brake. Okay, and that makes it, um... That does... Uh, it seems to do what the compensator does. I, I officially don't know what attachments in Rainbow Six Siege do. Okay, so it looks like comp is probably the uh, the best recoil mitigation, but suppressor's not bad. Suppressor's not bad. Now, the ultimate test. Let's go for the naked test again. No recoil mitigation at all. Angle grip suppressor. And that gets to the end of that, that bottom out pattern pretty quickly there. Ooh, okay. Looking like a CSGO pattern there. Yeah, it's a little tough. I don't know. Because this thing doesn't really have great damage. 34, 750, average rate of fire. You know, is it worth it? Probably not. Wow. Nice shot, Greg. Oh, wait, I have to be in the thing. What the heck? All right, that's good to know. Yeah, you know... All right, naked VTS is not my recommendation. This thing has a little bit too much blah, yada, yada, yada. Back and forth. So, it's kind of a 416 situation here. You're probably going to be running foregrip and some kind of barrel attach. And honestly, I don't know. Maybe suppressor is not exactly all it's cut out to be because that rightward kick is kind of a pain in the butt. But then again, I mean, you know, the, the ADS time with a foregrip on an SMG isn't terrible. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not the end of the world. It has an extended barrel, so that means we got to try it out. Again, extended barrel is such a weird attachment. One, two, three, four... Okay, so you're gonna take down everybody. You'll take down every kind of operator from a dis uh, from this distance with body shots, forward body shots. Honestly, not terrible. Then from really far away. Uh, this is a tough one. This is really tough. Because with a zombie, if you die early, you're not gonna get that util over the course of the round. But with Capkin, you put down a bunch of traps and then, you know, you've done your gadget job. So, maybe you can go for some dumb peaks, you know, consulate police line? I don't know, may I, I can see an argument for it, for extended on the VTS. I can see an argument for it. It's a better argument than the 416, because at least, you know, the VTS, somewhat controllable. Comparably. Alright, now I have compensator on. Are you serious? Wait a minute, hold on. Don't, don't tell me, don't tell me it doesn't make any difference, dude. One, two, three. Okay, um. Never mind. Unless you are 30 meters away. Okay, let's try compensator, guys. Wait, did I, I hit the limb. Okay, that's pretty awful. I, I take it back. So at 20 meters, specifically, extended barrel on the VTS sucks. Because there's not much of a difference. But, at 30 meters, specifically, extended barrel's great! Uh, what the hell? It's such a weird attachment, man. I just, like... Okay, look. If you know what you're doing... You're going for that really early peak from really far away, and that is priority number one for you. Go ahead. For everybody else, for everybody else who is not smoking crack, don't put extended barrel on. If you do smoke crack, however, extended barrel might be the attachment for you. And that's not a bad thing. Wrap it up with the VTAS. Um, I'm thinking either foregrip and compensator, or, you know, foregrip and suppressor, not too bad either. But angled, I'm not really sold on. AK-12, also known as my excuse to play Ace, also known as my crutch gun. I love the AK-12. This thing has a pretty decently high rate of fire at 850 plus 45 damage rating, so it can melt. It's easy to hit heads with, and if you don't hit the head, body shots will melt people anyway. One, two, three. 135 damage in three shots. That's a really, really fast time to kill. What's there to not like? Let's try out the suppressor pattern and a foregrip. So, a little bit of rightward deviation. Flash hider. 
again, what is it with Flash Hider making the recoil? Am I am I insane? Am I completely insane? I don't reduce the speed at which the muzzle moves upward. Remove. But why? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I, fuck it. Yeah, it's fine. All right, compensator. Compensator if you want to mitigate the rightward pull, but it doesn't really look like a. I mean, it look it's looking like suppressor is usable here, guys. Muzzle brake. And muzzle brake has less rightward recoil than flat flash. I thought the whole point. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna ignore. We're just we're just gonna move on. We're moving on. Angled grip. Uh, if you're not gonna run suppressor, I'd probably run comp. So here's Angie. Ooh, that's. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it kicks like a motherfucker. You really gotta pull down. Really, really gotta pull down here. You know, uh, if you can handle it, go for it. I would not recommend it. I think that. For some reason, it feels like suppressor and foregrip is more doable than just angled grip. Yeah, see, like, I'm comfortable with that. I'm not comfortable with angled grip and, like, flash hider or something. Not, uh, no extended barrel, so we can't, you know, we're not going to talk too much about that. Um, I think angled makes it just a little bit too, um, I think it gives it just a little bit too much muzzle climb. Personally, I think that foregrip's the way to go, and... Really, any barrel attach, I personally would either run suppressor or compensator. Nomad's AK-74, a personal favorite of mine. The time to kill is somewhat slow, but I think it makes up for it with the fact that Nomad plays from a distance most of the time as a flank watcher, and the gun is really easy to control with a 40-round magazine, so you don't have to reload as much. That keeps you in the action for a longer amount of time, which you're going to need to really be, uh, because that's Nomad's job. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. 132 damage. It's going to take down most opponents relatively quickly, not instantly like an AK-12, but fast enough. And the recoil isn't, uh, you know, it's not too bad. You can see the part where I forgot to hit record. All right, here we go, suppressor. So pretty standard kind of uh, rightward kick. Flash hider, which will make it have more right kick, even though suppressor is supposed to be the base pattern with no modifications. I don't, I don't, know, what, I don't know what flash hider does. Guys, let me know in the comments if I'm fucking missing something here, but th this doesn't make any sense. I'm going to do it again just to show you guys that I'm not going crazy. Here's another one. More right recoil. And the downward mitigation doesn't really happen. So, like, I don't get the point in running Flash Hider on anything at this point. Because everything I've tested so far, it just doesn't seem to do anything. Compensator. Compensator pretty solid for, for that, uh, that rightward kick. Muzzle brake. Now, this is a situation where I think you might be able to get away with tap firing a little bit. Tap firing is bad in Siege, though, so I don't know. Um, pretty low rate of fire. So maybe it'll actually work pretty well in this instance. Okay. You know, it's not terrible. Pretty identical to, like, the base pattern, though. That's the only thing. It's going to help with those, uh, those headshot taps, though. So that's kind of a personal preference thing. But no foregrip. Uh, some high zoom scopes. I think suppressor is the play personally. I think if you want to mitigate the rightward kick, compensator is the way to go. But I think suppressor is great on this weapon. I mean, you're going to be fighting from, from a pretty you know, relatively long range most of the time with Nomad anyway. So that's kind of why I run 1.5 because I tend to kind of, you know, play aggro or passively depending on the situation with a flex character. And 1.5 can give me just what I need to fight from long range without uh, impacting my close range fighting capabilities too much. This is a really, really solid gun that you can take most engagements with confidently. I, uh, I think suppressor is the way to go, personally. Maestro's Aldo with a suppressor. Uh, oh boy. This is going to look a little weird. It's going to be a bit strange, I think. Gosh, how much money, how, how much, <laughs> how much ammunition do you think I've spent in terms of money? How much money have I spent? All these magazines, dude. I don't want to think about that. Wow, that is actually like a COD gun. You can pull down with this thing pretty well. 
Yeah, if you have a giant mouse pad, you might want to raise your sensitivity a little bit. I'm not doing a good job of controlling it there, but it's better than the other LMGs, that's for sure. Alright, flash hider. Wow, okay, I think it actually did something this time. Yeah, it seems to make it a little bit easier to control um, with the... You know, you can just pull down. So, there's practically no horizontal kick here. There's practically no left to right. Is Compensator really worth it? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. I mean... I did kind of adjust my, uh, my angle here a little bit. That's probably why it's a little bit further to the right. I can't believe I'm saying this. I think Flash Hider might be the play. It only took how many tries? Muzzle break. Wow. Yeah, I th I'm thinking Flash Hider. No angle grip. Because with Suppressor, I don't think there's really much of a point in running Suppressor on the Alda because, like, you're a free armor. Uh, you're not exactly very nimble, okay? And if you get into your Alda spray, it's not like people aren't going to know where you're shooting them from, right? I guess? There's probably an, an argument to be had about anchoring in a safe position. But I think I'm just going to take the, um... I think I'm just going to make it, you know, easier on myself to keep that kind of centered spray. Yeah, okay. It only took me 20 minutes of recording, but I guess we finally got a flash hider gun. Its damage isn't amazing for an LMG, actually. It's kind of on the lower end. 35 isn't particularly high. But its rate of fire is high-ish, so one, two, three, four. That'll take out most targets, especially on defense. You're not going to run into three armors, really, that often. So for what it's worth, you know, it can hit heads, and it has decently high time to or I'm sorry, decently fast time to kill, so yeah. AR-33. Spotted Boblo using this with a suppressor in NAL. 41 damage rating, 749 rate of fire, so average rate of fire with okay damage. The whole argument here with Thatcher is that this thing has slightly higher rate of fire, uh, and the LED-5 has more damage but a slower rate of fire. One, two, three. So that won't take down Maestro, right? Any three armors. That needs four, right? 125 for three armors. Remember, guys? One, two, three, four. So they'll, you'll leave them at two health if you don't connect that fourth shot. Decently fast, you know, so I'm not too pressed about it. We don't actually get that little, like, thing at the end there. Pretty tame, you know, right side recoil. But the spacing, you can see it's not that high. You don't really have to pull down that much. Try the flash hider. Wow, that... Okay, that's really good. You can actually see the cutoff there. You can actually see that the, that the flash hider keeps it from getting much higher there. That's really, really nice. Compensator. I mean, this thing's just... It, it's a laser beam. Really. Doesn't seem like there's any bad option here. Muzzle break. You know, uh, it's looking like flash hider again. I don't know. Angled grip. That's one of the things that, uh, well, that was one of the differentiating factors here is that the AR-33 had an angle and the L-85 did not. Now, of course, the L-85 does. We'll get to the L-85 later, though. Okay, let's run it naked. Suppressor angled. Theoretically, it should work, right? Because this thing doesn't really have that much recoil. And it doesn't. It really, it, it doesn't, bro. It does, it, it's like, that's pretty, yeah. Oh yeah, you can play aggro with this thing big time. Look at that. I mean, it's it's hardly anything. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. Here's what you're gonna do, Walt. If you wanna play aggressive, you can run suppressor angled. No problem. But if you're gonna play at longer ranges, maybe with an ACOG scope, it's probably gonna be better to run a full grip, Walter. Th there's like no bad option here. If you want the most amount of vertical kick mitigation, Flash hider is really solid, as you can see, if you scroll back. This this gun, like, you can really do whatever the hell you want with it. It's it's just nice. It's nice, bro. It's very modular. You want recoil mitigation? Go with the flash hider. If you want to run suppressor, that's good too. Nomad and Yana's ARX gets grips, bro. Verdi, angled. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. Now this is a gun that a lot of people ran with suppressor uh, before the change. So that's pretty interesting in its own right. Really small magazine, but it hits like a truck. 700 rate of fire, low-ish, but not low to the point where, you know, it's impossible to hit headshots. One, two, three. Massive damage in three shots. 
That's that 47 damage rating. Same damage rating as Thermite's 556. It, it's, a, it's a melter. It's a melter, but the problem that you run into compared to the AK is that the magazine is pretty small. The full reload is very time consuming. And you might full reload a lot because that magazine is small. Anyway, let's give it a shot. We got the suppressor on. So it doesn't really get that high. Not like there's enough bullets to go that high. But, you know, the actual spacing in between is pretty small with a lot of right deviation. Let's try out the flash hider. Oh, shit. My bad. Ignore those shots. Wow. Okay. So now we're getting the guns that actually the flash hider freaking works on. Right? Wow. Okay. So flash hider does something. Me and my big mouth. Compensator. Okay, as you can tell, actually, I don't know if you can tell anything. I can't tell, an but is there any difference? Slightly, not a lot. Okay, I can't say I'd recommend Compensator, then. Because that's not enough to really justify it. Muzzle brake? Rate of fire might be low enough for it to do something. Tappa tappa. Yeah, I mean, Flash Hider still gets a lot more bang for your buck in that department. Flash Hider might be the play here. I mean, it just makes it into... It's already a laser beam. It just makes it a super laser beam. All right, now I got angled on with the Flash Hider. Let's see how bad that is. Not bad at all. Actually, it just kind of makes it into... You know, it, it's a lot like foregrip compensator. Or suppressor, really. Oh, that is... Whew, oh. I love that. Wow. Naked recoil. Let's look at that. Yeah, see, now we get the bottom out there. You know, I could probably see somebody doing this on Yana. Maybe not on Nomad. I just think, like, Flash Rider Foregrip. That's so good, man. Even angled, I mean... You know, I might switch to the ARX for a bit on Nomad, I don't know. Okay, so... I wouldn't run it naked. I wouldn't run angled and suppressor, but angled with the uh, with the flash hider, as you can tell here, I mean, it's pretty in line with the other sprays. And if you want the most amount of recoil control possible, if you're going to be playing passively, flash hider is the way to go, man. Uh, four grip flash hider, this thing is just, it's it's a rail gun. It's great. Great gun, the ARX. AUG A2 on IQ and Mumai, another body shot melter, 42 damage rating, which on defense is good for any weapon at all. 126 and three shots. Pretty pretty quick, if you ask me. On IQ, you get some scope options all the way up to the ACOG, which is pretty dope. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so a little bit to the right, halfway through, and then towards the end, it bottoms out to the left. Not really that much upward kick at all. I mean, it's super easy to control in my experience. Flash hider. And it looks like the flash hider, well, we're back to where we were before. Doesn't really seem to do a lot here. Compensator. And that doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference either. Muzzle break. Okay, corporate wants you to find the difference between this picture and that picture. I mean, like... Well, this seems pretty easy, doesn't it? I guess I'll try to get a group. Let me see. Uh, okay, so just run Suppressor. <laughs> Next. Cade Zog used to have a lower damage rating, if you can believe it. Right now it's 36. So it'll still free shot three speeds. Pretty decent damage output for an SMG. Yeah, so there's not really a lot of recoil there at all. A little bit of leftward deviation. Mind you, I do have the foregrip on. Let's try Flash. Mm. Seem to reduce it just a tiny bit. You can see the blue dots are just below the pink ones. So Flash Hider does have a discernible effect as far as I can see. Compensator. Okay, nothing really doing there. Muzzle. I didn't expect it to have much of a difference on a gun like this, so... Okay, so I think if you want some recoil control mitigation, Flash Hider is the way to go, but I think Suppressor is just as useful. Let's see what the extender barrel does from a far distance. 
That looks so weird. Okay, so still a three-shot kill from 20 meters to Ash. And a four-shot to Thatcher from uh, from 30. Without the extended barrel, this is what you'll be doing. Jeez, yeah, that's rough. So if you're going to go for peaks with this gun, I guess, I, I don't know. The thing with, with Kaed, if he's already deployed his gadget, you know, he can go for that peak. In the situation where you're trying to go for a trick, I don't really see the point in running an uh, extended barrel. Naked test. Got the angled on now with the suppressor. And that seems to that seems to kick a fair amount. But, you know, I think you can play aggro with this thing and get away with it. Mind you, the time to kill isn't particularly short here. So you're going to want to aim for the head most of the time. I think you can uh I think you can get away with running angled or suppressor. I don't think compensator and muzzle breaker are particularly useful. I think suppressor and flash are good and extended is again super situational and I wouldn't recommend it most of the time. Okay, so now we are on our first machine pistol, the Bearing 9. This thing's notorious, well was notorious for having really bad side to side kick and then it kind of got shadow buffed in North Star when Thunderbird came out. So I haven't actually used the Bearing 9 yet uh, since the recent patch, so let's give it a shot. Okay, that is a lot better than previous iterations of this gun. That is for damn sure. Wow. Flash hider. Okay. You can see that the, uh, that the dots are just a little bit lower there, so it does have a discernible effect. If somewhat not noticeable when you actually try to spray with it. You know, it's strange, because now it doesn't really have any side-to-side -side kick at all, from what I can tell. Compensator. Yeah, I mean... I can't even... I guess there's a little bit of... It's a little bit more straight at the top, but like... Uh, can't really tell a difference. So I'm thinking compensator, not really that useful. Muzzle brake on guns like this is just kinda... I don't know. Yeah, that... Does that actually help with the... So, uh, compensator's written off. Let's try flash again. Yeah, I think if you're trying to get the most amount of um, upward kick reduced, then flash hider's the way to go. But honestly, I mean, it's kind of crazy to say out loud, but the bearing's actually, like, kind of controllable now. Like, regardless of uh, whatever attachment you put on. I mean, that looks like a big group, but you gotta... Like, don't forget, you know, you're not trying to fight from long range with this thing. It's a machine pistol. Yeah, I mean, that's... Especially with that quick ADS time, you can really take some aggressive fights with this gun. Don't know if I... Okay. I haven't talked about sights the whole time because sights are pretty much personal preference, but it looks really, like, big and blocky with the hollow. So I might try something else. Okay, that takes up a little bit less of my screen. Hmm, you know... I can't believe I'm- I can't believe I'm saying this. Suppressor I'm bearing is actually, like, viable. Okay, uh, extended barrel, I- I don't know why. With machine pistols, you're usually gonna be trying to go for the head anyway and just, like, bullet hose the head. 33 damage is actually pretty okay for a gun like this. Yeah, especially with a high rate of fire there, that'll take down Thatcher in four shots. And then you might just hit the head on accident anyway. I guess- mmm. I mean, you... That's not gonna happen. There's just... No. There's no fucking way you're gonna be able to get, like, a tight group from, from a distance with this gun. Just don't... Yeah, no. Don't don't bother with extended barrel. CZ-75, 35 damage rating on a machine pistol. Uh, the fire rate is really high. This thing actually has one of the fastest DPS ratings for any machine pistol. Any gun in the game, really. The only thing holding it back is this goofy-ass sight picture. Uh, yeah. That, that is a laser beam. There's only one attachment, suppressor, and you get no downside. So next, Jackal C70 used to be pretty broken. Right now it's got 42 damage rating, 800 rate of fire, 25 round magazine, one in the chamber. But the, I was trying to make sure that wasn't an arm shot one. Yeah, okay, so three shot. Three shots, everybody, except uh, Rook armored and Doc boosted people. Yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Pretty solid. All right, raw recoil. So, you know, it, it tends to kick just a, just a little bit. But it's straight recoil, so there's not a lot of side-to-side. -side. 
So it would seem Flash Hider should help with that. And it looks like it does, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. First shot, second shot, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, that might justify it. Compensator, I don't even see the point. The recoil is already pretty straight as it is. Yeah, like, like who cares? Okay, so I wouldn't run comp. Muzzle for tap firing. Might be a close tie between flash and uh, muzzle. Suppressor's really good. Okay, angled. Naked test. Hmm. Got to pull down a lot, but you can, you can get away with it, I think. Okay, that's... Yeah, if you pull down really hard, because it's just straight recoil, right? There's only, it only starts deviating towards the end of the pattern. Ah, I, that, that's really, really good. Wow. Okay, I think, uh, I think it passes the naked test. But if you want, you know, if you don't want to pull down 5 million miles, if you don't have a big mouse pad or you don't play on high sense, or you don't want to, you know, just don't want to deal with it. You know, foregrip's good. Uh, flash Hydra's good. But I think because this gun doesn't really have that much horizontal deviation at all, um, Suppressor Angled is really good, I think. Buck's C8, safe for work. A lot of people play Buck just for this gun. It's a very solid gun. Doesn't take down uh, Maestro in three shots, but will in four. Takes out everybody else in three. So that's pretty, that's pretty fast. A lot of people don't like the recoil on this thing. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it kind of goes left just a little bit, and then it goes right. Flash hider. Mm, I mean, one, two, three, four. You can hit pretty tight groups here. Then again, you can also hit a tight group with the suppressor, I think. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Let's try comp. It does basically nothing. Okay, comp's useless. Let's try muzzle. Corporate wants you to find the difference. Uh, I mean... I'm thinking either flash or suppressor again. Uh, extended barrel. 40 damage rating, so... Theoretically, it should help a little bit. Countering uh, people trying to spawn PQ. I guess. Let's say, you know, you're trying to run out from Christmas on cafe and then somebody's uh, posted up on the window. About this distance. Okay, free shots, uh, alibi. And you can hit that group pretty far. 30 meters. Now they're really far away. You know, I mean... It's kind of tough to justify once you're like inside the building. This is the thing with extended barrel that always makes it difficult for me to recommend it. It's it's great for that situation, you know, for exterior fights, like gunfighting outside the building. And everywhere else, I just don't... Eh. Like maybe, maybe, like at this distance, I guess, like I'm here in Small Bait Cafe and then Christmas is down there. And then maybe I get swung and oh, and that, that'll kill him. That'll take him down really quickly, but I don't know. It's tough to call because I don't really see a big discernible difference between all the barrel attachments we've used here. Except flash. Flash kind of helps. No grip options, so you're kind of stuck with what you get. Okay. I think extended is useful in more instances than a lot of SMGs with extended barrel. I think if you're trying to not get spawn peaked or you're fighting from really, really long angles, this works great. But then again, so does suppressor. I mean... Especially because you're going to be, you know, you're a vertical fighter. You're going to be fighting through the floor. You don't want to give yourself away. I mean, you will give yourself away with the, um, with the, with the bucking, with the act of bucking. But, you know, for those, in for those instances where they don't know exactly where you are, you don't want other defenders to be able to, like, know where you are based off of just the bullet tracers and the, um, you know, the, the threat indicator. Because you can, like, shoot below and then somebody over here can be like, oh, shit, you know, I, I see the tracers. Now I know where he is and they can try pre-firing you. So, mm. I personally would go with Suppressor, but if you really don't like getting spawn peaked, maybe try Extended Barrel. All right, uh, Commando 9. This thing is infamous for basically just having no recoil at all and 
pretty decent damage output, especially for a defending gun. So, here we go. And not much has changed. Uh, it's looking like a suppressor gun. Let's try flash. Ooh, okay. There's no bottom out, and it actually makes it. Wow, that does have a pretty discernible effect. Hmm, okay, so now we have a question here. This is one of those specific situations where you can pretty much make a recoilless gun. And in a game with one-shot headshot, that's pretty nice to have. So if you have that ability at all, some players, even at a competitive level, will do this. Because they just don't want anything at all getting in the way. They just want absolute laser beam, like headshot, 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 headshot. Like, yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of tough. Compensator, I, I don't know what this is even going to do. Okay, it actually did kind of reduce the horizontal, just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Mmm. Muzzle. Well, it's looking like a personal preference moment to me, fellas. Okay, let's try the naked test. I think it's going to pass, considering, you know, this thing doesn't really have any recoil. I mean, that's pretty difficult to say, oh, wow, that's so bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, like, dude. So 36 damage rating, slightly, slightly, slightly above average fire rate. Um, what are, why do Jackal and Flores have to report to briefing room six, huh? What do you think? Okay, so that takes down Ash in three shots pretty quickly. For a gun like this, on defense, like... I mean, it's like, the commando's great. I love the commando. Okay, let's go spawn peeking with the commando. Probably wouldn't be running angled grip if I'm gonna spawn peek, so... Let's try Verdi. Spawn peek time. Alright, 20 meters. One, two, three. Wow! Okay, ooh. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, okay. Yo. Yo, okay, hold up. We might have an extended barrel moment, boys. Okay, this... Okay, I can see it. I can see it, actually. Because, okay, so let's think about it, right? So, this gun doesn't really have any freaking recoil at all to begin with. You put an extended barrel on. You just... You laser people in four shots, you know, from really, really far away for spawn peaks. Now, suppressor. Let's see if there's, like, a discernible difference because, you know... There's an advantage to people not being able to know where you are, right, when you're spawn peeking. Okay, see, I think the extended barrel is actually worth it in that case, then. Because that's only against Ash there, right? Five. One. Two. Three. Yeah. Alright, alright, look, look, look. <laughs> No recoil to begin with, and it actually seems to have a discernible effect on the damage output from far away. You have my permission to spawn peek with the extended barrel on the commando. Go for it. Otherwise, uh, flash hider and suppressor are great, and you can even run a uh, naked angled suppressor if you want. Okay, so this gun is basically a lot like Thermite's AR. It has uh, 48 damage, 690 rate of fire. Nice. Uh, one, two, three. You know, takes down targets pretty quickly with body shots, but the only thing with Grim is that he doesn't get a 1.5, which for some reason just, you know, his entire operator design, it's kind of tough that he doesn't have that, but that's for different reasons. The gun itself is okay. Suppressor test. Okay, so lots of right recoil, but the actual, like, upper deviation isn't particularly high. Let's go with Flash Eider. Well, it seemed like that actually kind of made a bit of a difference there. I think what's happening with the flash hider is that the the pull down is actually kind of like skewing the pattern a little bit more towards the right it, it, because if the pattern goes in a certain direction it's going to literally pull it down and away from the natural um state of the gun which is to go like up like this it's to pull a little bit to the right so it's kind of weird you know so obviously the way to counteract that would be to run compensator or at least theoretically Okay, it actually looks like we get something like that there. All right. Muzzle. 
you can actually see where with muzzle brake, it's resetting the aiming point just a little bit more quickly than it would be with a suppressor. So I don't know. It kind of looks like really any option here is okay. I would probably run suppressor. Angled is a little bit trickier. Maybe I'll take his, you know. Okay, now that I think about it a little bit more, I might just take like every mobility advantage I can get right now. Especially if I'm playing Grim, because like I don't have a scope, man. This is all I get. What you see is what you get. So you might want to take that little bit of a mobility advantage there and just uh, and pull down and hope for the best. If you really want, you know, recoil control, go for it. But from what I'm looking at, I think you can get away without um, running any recoil attachments on the commando. Uh, the SG commando, anyway. Okay, extended barrel. Here we go. All right. Anti-spawn peak weapon. Now we're going to be running this on a one times zoom optic on Grim because, you know. All right, 20 meters. Let's see if it keeps that three shot kill. Two, three. <laughs> okay. Mm, we might be onto something here. IQ. Because you get a 1.5. Remember that. Hmm, okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. One. That's, uh, hmm. Okay, let's think about this a little bit. Fuck your dock spawn peak. I mean, if you wanted a gun just specifically... Okay, if you wanted to play an operator specifically to counter a dock spawn peak, then this gun is for you. Because that's 144 and 3, like, that's fucking crazy. 30. Holy! Okay, that kills three armors. That kills three armors. Assuming they're not dock or, or rook boosted. So that's like pretty much everybody except dock and rook. That's from 30 meters with three shot? What the f- Okay, that- wow. That is really good. That is actually- That's a game changer. Ah, uh, wow. You know what? If you don't want to get spawn peak- this is great. I mean, this will this will melt. This will absolutely melt from really far away. Uh, probably run vertical grip just for that. And the gun doesn't have much recoil to begin with. It's kind of a you know Mozzie Commando Nine situation. I think if you're going to play more aggro, suppressor's good. If you're fighting from longer range, extended barrel's good too. So yeah, extended barrel's pretty good on the on the SG Commando here. DP27, really really high damage rating, 49, but that fire rate of 550 is extremely slow. Let's look at the attachment options. Oh. Well, prepare to be out dps by everybody on attack with their assault rifles. Is the damage drop off at least like... One, two. I think I found my new favorite thing to do in Rainbow Six Siege. Tachanka spawn peak. Oh boy. It's all coming together. Just did this whole section and forgot to hit record. Okay, F2. So basically what we got is not a super high damaging assault rifle at 37, but the fire rate is really high at 980, and it's controllable enough, so you get decent DPS, but it hits headshots like crazy, and it's just, you know, it's it's a laser beam. It's It's... An infamous gun. It's been this way for a long time. It's the F2. Everybody knows about the F2 by now. So 111 and 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. So everybody else gets 4 shotted. So this thing will melt with body shots against anybody, you know, except like Rook and Doc. Raw recoil. A little bit of rightward kick towards the end of the pattern. Flash. Seems to have a discernible difference there in terms of the, uh, the upper deviation, as you can see. The yellow dots are slightly below the blue ones. Comp. Makes a difference, but not enough for me to justify using it. Same deal with muzzle brake, at least in my experience. And why are you tap firing with an F2? Just spray, bro. Like, why? Yeah, I don't really get the point. In muzzle, personally. Extended barrel, not great results. Yes, it'll keep it a three-shot kill from a distance like this, 20 meters. One, two, three. Uh, but here's the issue. Why are you going to be going for these kinds of sprays from this distance? Might as well just put the suppressor on anyway. 
You know, it's, the recoil makes it a pain in the ass to even justify using extended at these distances. Like this, this is not a long range gun. It's not, it's not designed for that. Uh, so yeah, my personal opinion on extended is just don't. I'm thinking either suppressor, flash, no angle grip, so that rules that out for you. F90. Uh, it's an Australian AUG. I love this thing. It's got a lot of different scopes, 38 damage, 780 fire rate. It's really easy to control. This is a great gun. I wish it was recycled on a, on a different character. 114 and 3. 152 and 4. So this thing, you know, has pretty decent damage output for a 38 damage gun. Very easy to control. We got a four grip suppressor. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, so not much to complain about there. Flash hider. Oh, well, that makes a big difference. Comp. Muzzle. You know, that's actually pretty quick reset time. I can, I can see a justification, uh, especially on a support operator like Grid. Yeah, I know a lot of people swear up and down by muzzle in this current meta, but, you know, me personally, based off of what I'm doing here, I would usually rather just pick the, um, the suppressor, you know, comparably, because the pattern's pretty freaking similar anyway. But I can see the argument, you know, for, like, really far away, um... You know, I, I, I get it. Let's try the naked test, angled grip, suppressor... Okay. You can, you can pull down on that. You can pull down. You can pull down. Come on. That's not bad. That's pretty solid. You are on a support character, though. You're not going to be playing super aggro. But, you know, you might be in situations where you get pinched. You know, you want an ADS here. ADS there. I mean, what do you know? Okay, this is going to come down to personal preference. I think any of these are good. Uh, I personally would either... I'd probably run suppressor and foregrip if I'm playing, like... Kind of stationary, support-ish, kind of passive play style. But angled, I think, uh, suits an aggro play style as well. Okay, so extended barrel. I only use extended barrel like like we've been talking about, you know, for really far away, like, don't get spawn peak kind of situations, right? One, two, three. Okay, so alibi's dead. 152 and four from that range is actually really solid. That's really good. 140 and four from that range is really good as well. Okay, I don't like it as much as the Commando. I'll say that. Because the rightward kick there kind of gets you. But I think you can pull it off. I, I, think it's, I think it's doable. I think it's alright. I think it's fine. Maybe not with angled grip, but with foregrip extended, you know. Especially since you can put an ACOG on. That's pretty... That's pretty... That's pretty... That's pretty stonks. That's, that's kind of stonks, in my opinion. So if you just want to, like, snipe from super far away. And Grid's a free armor, so it's going to take her a lot more shots to take down. Especially since you're playing against defenders that don't usually have high damage guns. They're not going to be able to, you know, they're not going to be able to, to deal with the thickness as much. But you can. Hmm. I can see an argument for extended on this gun, yeah. Especially with that ACOG. That's pretty big. Okay. Um... This loadout, I think, is good for anti-spawn peeker. Don't spawn peek me. Lots of other options for more uh, aggro kind of play. Suppressor's good on this gun. Flash is good on this gun. Go for it. FMG9. This thing used to stink until it got a really, really nice damage output buff. 34, 800 rate of fire. Not too much recoil. 102 and 3. 136 and 4. So, respectable. The big thing here is that, you know, it just doesn't really have much recoil. Relatively straight recoil, except towards the end with a leftward pattern, by the looks of it. Flash. That actually looks like it helps a lot. See, it, it even pulls it over to the right a little bit. I, it pulls it down in. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? I can't keep up with Flash Eider, bro. Whatever. Comp. Wow, that is... Uh, okay, wait a minute. You know, that might be... You could... Theoretically... That might be the most no recoil Lee attachment for this thing. Because if you just pull down a little bit to the right, then like you're good. That's just a laser. I still like running suppressor on it though. It's really nice. Muzzle. Nah. 
Okay, I think this is kind of up to you. This is one of those situations where I might run comp. I might. But out of all these three, I think suppressor's fine because the gun doesn't really have much recoil to begin with. Let's try the extended barrel test. Uh, you, you don't get a foregrip or an angled grip, so. One, two, three. Nah, that's not. I don't know if that's good enough. I mean, I guess. Nah, I, I, I wouldn't. Especially not with, okay. Yeah, definitely not with Nook on, an, on attack because you shouldn't be going for these kinds of plays on Nook to begin with. And not on smoke because you shouldn't be going with these plays on smoke because you should be, you know, anchoring, right? Like usually you're going to run the FMG9 for a specific like extended hold and then you're going to have somebody uh, with a shotgun. So yeah, I wouldn't run extended on the FMG9. Suppressor's good. Really any barrel attach. I'd probably, I'd probably run comp based off of what you, but here's the main pattern. So this is what the spray looks like without any adjustments made to it. Jonathan Derulo. Okay, that seems kind of useful. The... Yeah, it looks like it pulls it down just a tiny bit. But then again, I mean, the recoil is so low anyway. Oh, shit, I died. There's like no discernible difference between any of these. Is this going to be voiceover later or are we raw dog it? We're raw dogging it. This is going to go straight into the into the final <laughs> cut. I can't think of any particularly discernible difference between any of these. I mean, if I'm being honest, I think that like suppressor is just kind of a no brainer here. Cause like, I don't think these really like do enough to make it I'll try like a 10 meter spray here. Yeah. I mean, that's like a really tight group. I, I, I there's like nothing to complain about there at all. I go with that and it looks pretty solid here. Yeah. I mean, G36 might just be the, so. I, I call it I call it this in the video whenever you're running suppressor and uh, angle grip naked recoil because there's no recoil um, adjustment at all, so you know the gun's Give like the recoil some naked, clothes. quote unquote. What? What'd you say, Bird? Give the recoil some clothes, man. It's felony. <laughs> Indecent exposure. So, uh, Indecent exposure. dude. Okay, this is pretty. I'm not gonna lie. This might be like the easiest assault rifle to control in the game right now. This is pretty crazy. Suppressor. Yeah. Has a 1.5. Mm-hmm. Look at look how tight this group is. There's like no. There's left nothing. Right. Like there's literally there's nothing. No left, right. It's watch like watch down. this peak. Like, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, man. That's... Yeah, I wouldn't even bother with like muzzle attaches on this. Honestly, I mean, this is pretty good. Now the big thing here is extended barrel. That's the kicker. So some of the extended barrel attachments are actually pretty okay, but it depends on the gun. We'll see. Let's go to 20 meters and then see. Clear the that. Still not existent on that. It seems like a balance issue. Like that seems. Oh yeah, this is really crazy. This is crazy. Yeah. I think the idea is that the 38 damage is supposed to keep it like because that's kind of weak for an assault rifle, but still. It's on the lower end. But One, two. So that still kills Alibi in three shots from 20 meters away. Is the R4C back though? Uh, yeah, R4C is pretty good. Okay, that didn't make a difference at 20 meters then, so this might end up being a nothing burger. Because that I think that had the exact same damage there, 114. 105 at uh, 30. I'm not feeling this one. Yeah, because even in four shots, that's still 124. And then with, um, with the extended barrel, you're not really getting much of a difference there. So yeah, I wouldn't run extended on the G36. Okay, so that... That's very interesting. So lots of rightward recoil, and then it bottoms out. This is what I call it whenever it does this. Some guns have a pattern where it gets to like the apex of it, and then it'll just like, just go to the right like that. So whenever I say bottom out, that's what I mean is this kind of deviation here. Uh, so that's not terrible for an LMG, but I, yeah. I it's looking like a compensator moment. Yeah, I don't think you get much of a benefit from flash there. Like, it might pull down the muzzle just a little bit, but probably not enough to make a big difference. Yeah, it just looks like... I don't know, the, the weird thing about flash before was it was just kind of... Yeah, I... Yeah. Pfft, LMGs are rough right now.
Because you almost have to, I mean, no one's ever going to spray, like, constantly, right? But maybe if you're trying to pre-fire and, like, keep somebody from swinging an angle, then you're going to have to, like, pull uh, to the left a lot. I think that's it, right? Muzzle. I haven't tried that one yet. Muzzle, probably not much of a point. No, I feel like I'm LMG's muzzle. Wow, yeah, that's bad. It even goes higher there. That's so weird. I think because there's no recoil, like, suppression oh, at all. The... But then it's still less than a suppressor, which is weird. Yeah, some of these are really goofy, like the mathematic, uh, the mathematical nature of it is kind of strange. All right, naked test with the angle. This is going to suck. This is going to be really bad. Wow, it's almost, it's just like muzzle break. <laughs> uh, I don't know. See, I mean, like, I can hit the shots here. So this is kind of what it feels like. Um, I would not recommend this because the deviation is too much to justify using this over, like, other weapons, I think. Like, the ADS time is really slow. And you're gonna have to, like, get that Probably muscle memory down. Off with the... Yeah. Like, the AUG is pretty solid right AUG. now. And if you're not a fan of, you know, your entire screen being taken up, Commando. Yeah, I've I'm probably... Liked the command I've always liked the Commando. Yeah, I I've just wish it had a better scope on Grim. Yeah, I wouldn't go for the G8 in this meta, but I guess if you really want to use it, you could go, like... I wouldn't run angled or suppressor. I tried to just get as much recoil control as you can. Okay. All right, suppressor, K1A. This is the base pattern. This thing's always been, like, a pretty decent submachine gun. Sorry, carbine, assault rifle, whatever the fuck. Gun nerds. And that actually has a uh, decent amount of kick for an SMG, if I'm being straight. Let's get the flash hider. Oh, they gave it extended barrel, huh? I didn't know that. Okay. Kind of wonky. You know, it actually makes a pretty significant difference with the with the um the pull down amount. But the question is like That is very laser like. Well, let me try comp. Left to right very steady might want comp. Yeah. It's kind of Yeah. Maybe flat maybe I would say flash or comp probably. Because I think you're probably going to have to get a lot of sprays down because the the damage on this gun isn't, like, great. So if you don't hit the head, like, the low, the lowest rate of fire might uh, screw you a little bit if you don't. I don't really get the point on running muzzle on any of, like, the automatic guns. Yeah, so, I don't know. Okay, all right, now I got it Nike. I, I don't think I've, I've ever run muzzle on any of What the heck? Why is there less right? What? Is there something with the, with the math there? So if the, I guess with the foregrip, it's like pulling it down, so it's also pulling the spray down to the right as well. I guess that's the that's why it's doing that. That's weird. Yeah, it is very strange. This isn't the only gun it's like this on to. Okay, you have is to pull down a little bit more there. I mean, I guess it's doable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the K1A is kind of a laser. Like, that's really easy to do. All right, so this thing has an extended barrel on it. Is Capcom Kyle meta, meta still a thing? As long as the game is very, you know, it's not as util dependent as it used to be, it's going to be very gunner focused, then yeah, Captain Kyle's going to be around to stay. All right, 20 meters, 36 damage. I don't know. That's uh, that's an ash down from that range and three shots. Let me try that again. That's pretty solid. That's okay. All right, 30. See, that's the part where I'm kind of iffy. Okay, so that takes down Thatcher in four from that distance. But it does kind of bounce a little. I don't know. Maybe if you ran foregrip on it, if you really wanted to yeah, spawn I peak. I was say foregrip is what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's the uh, mm. determining factor on whether or not you're going to run. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Extended barrel is if you're gonna be spawn peeking, because otherwise. That's the only. Re that's the. It, it's literally just a spawn peeking attachment. Yeah, it's just so hard. Um, trying to justify using the extended barrel when you can just, because so many of your fights are taking place within. Like, I think with vigil you can make an argument that. Know. Yeah, I think with vigil you can make an argument that you, um, you're gonna be putting yourself in situations where you're not going to be as droned out as effectively. So maybe they're not going to see your peak and then you can kind of take advantage of that. But if you're vigil cloaking next to a door, smart people aren't just going to fucking face check you anyway. They're going to be like, oh shit, vigil's there. So I don't know. 
Kind of tough. Suppressive Vert is the play, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that might be the play for a lot of people. I personally think you can get get away with uh, running it naky with Suppressor Angled, because there's not much recoil that close, if you want to play like a more aggressive gunfighter. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I think it's ultimately up to you. I don't think you need to go crazy with recoil reduction, because, um... Unless you're doing the spawn peaky shit that I just showed you. Because, yeah, aside yeah, from that... Yeah. Yeah. Like, K1A is a you should laser. Just be changing your attachments on like every like mm -hmm. you're not changing it all the time, but you should be thinking about like what kind of engagements you're going to be taking, like where are you going to be mainly playing, you know. Yeah. Love YouTube Premium. YouTube Music goes hard too. I love the algorithm on that. Okay. Oh, see, I I just use normal uh, YouTube playlists and have an ad blocker. So. Where did you do YouTube? Yeah, well, sorry, I All right, I'm going to do the L85 with the base pattern. And it's nothing. <laughs> it's like, it goes a little bit to the left. Okay, flash if you just want it absolutely no re This might be, okay, we were talking about this earlier. This might be one of those situations where, where La Pro League, they might try to make it into a no recoil gun. And that is, there is some advantages to that in certain instances. I think my shot was slightly to the left there, yeah. But it does kind of, it does look like it drags it down a little bit. One, two, three, yeah. Somewhat discernible difference there, and it doesn't bottom out. So it doesn't bottom out at all with the L85 and Flash Hider, which is pretty nice. Okay, Compensator. Yeah, so there, if you just don't, if you want to, like, focus exclusively on pulling down, I guess you can. But then you kind of have to pull to the right just a tiny bit. Okay, um, muzzle. Now, this is one instance where I might see it just because the gun has a slow rate of fire for an automatic weapon. So it might actually benefit from that, like, kick reduction or the reset time might reset the gun fast enough for it to make a difference. Yeah, that was one thing that I haven't really yeah. able to notice is the reset on the recoil stages. Okay, that's a little... Mm, you can see the base pattern there. It kind of... It's it, it 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 reflects the same um, upward kick, but the reset time is faster, so it's dragging it back just a tiny bit. So I don't know. I mean, I guess that's okay. I, th this might be one of those situations with like a low rate of fire gun where muzzle isn't like terrible. But then why don't you just fucking like I don't know? It seems like a very niche attachment. Some people swear up and down by it. I'm I don't know if I'm there. All right, let's run it naky. Alright, so that actually kind of does have a significant, well, not significant, but, like, decent amount of kick. But it's still, like, so linear. Like, look at that. It's literally just, like, it's almost a straight line. It almost goes straight down. And even the pull that does happen is, like, perceivable. Like, you can actually kind of anticipate it. Yeah, so I, I think this might be one of those situations where you can actually kind of, like, learn the deviation amount and get it to the point where you can just get, like, a, like a perfect spray every time. Yeah, I yeah. Feel like having angled on the L85 is huge. I always wish that there was angled. On yeah, the this is pretty nice. That Especially is not like bad at all. Can we talk about can we talk about the damage on this thing? 47. Yeah, so 47 damage is is like actually insane. Especially because on an assault rifle, I think the DV, the um uh drop off range is like really 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 long. 141 and 3 at 20, dude. That that's like Rook. Goodbye, Rook. Fuck off. Rook spawn peeking me. One, two, three, four shots. Kills Rook. From 30 meters. No extended barrel, by the way. Like, that's just ridiculous. So, I guess if you don't want to get spawn peeked, this is like, at the base level, this is like the perfect gun. I mean, that is, that is insane. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know. It really depends on what you want to do. If you want to play more aggro on Sledge then I think you can really, like... This is one of those cases where I think you can customize the gun like however the hell you want. Um, if you want to play, like, in a more supportive way from a distance, uh, I think you can run, like, recoil mitigation. But if you want to play aggro, this is a really good setup for aggro play as well. With the suppressor, this is this is kind of crazy. Like, that's, that's, that's a kill. That quickly, too? I mean, like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my... Dude, wait, is that no recoil right now? It's just like, oh no. <laughs> when you move the mouse, it'll, yeah. That's funny. 
Hold on, let me try to control that. I feel like you could abuse that. Yeah, wait. Ability. Like you just start shooting early and then... Oh my gosh. Wait, I need to get... Hold on. This is so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> no, never mind. I think because every time you move the mouse, like if you try to adjust it, it'll reset the adjustment. That's the thing. It's not, it's not a Negev. It's not a Negev where you can like move it and then it'll like stay in that same spot. It'll keep that's like, was, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Was yeah, thinking it won't do go. that. They said no, no, fuck that. Get that shit out of here. Uh, let me try to... <laughs> what if I just... Wait. <laughs> what if you calculated the exact point at which the pre-fire was coming? <laughs> Wait, let me try to reverse engineer it. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I had it. Shit. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the, I can just I don't have to move that I don't have to move the mouse at all. I just I just mouse one. Shit, okay. Wait, oh, it even drags the aiming point over. That's weird. I mean I guess yeah, that makes sense. Oh, <gasps> All right, guys. So if you want to hold an angle, just uh, just aim down <laughs> to the left, and then spray the LMGE long enough for the aiming point, <laughs> and you have a free Negev. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so dumb. <laughs> that's so weird. This is really that's so bad. Oh man. Okay. D is this gun even usable? That just straight up looks unusable. Let me try this again. And what we already showed, we, yeah, we, you already know what's going on with that. Okay, so it does that, and then it gets here, and then if you move the mouse, it'll keep like dragging to the right. So you literally just have to drag your mouse to the left constantly. And you will run out of mouse pad. So I guess it isn't a Gavish. You have to just have to stop shooting. Yeah, that's really odd. I mean, do we even want to compare? I don't even think there's a point. <laughs> like, it's it's just so much. Who would put angle grip on this, dude? <laughs> no, no, dude, no. Some hipster in chat. <laughs> who, who would do this? All right, suppressor angled LMGE. Oh, my God! <laughs> Wait. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. No! That is just aggressive. Ah! <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> delay. Wow. That's a, that's tight. You know, that's, that's, yeah. It's oh my god. Away. Go to the, the ah! character model. Go to the character model. And see how bad it is. <laughs> shit. You can hit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fuck it. Insane, dude. <laughs> Who would do this? Oh my lord. Yeah, that's like that's just not usable at all. Oh wow, that's. Ah! Yeah, if you're crazy enough to still use LMGs right now, you gotta put, um, you you have to put recoil mitigation on. There's just no shot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it. So you move the arm across, dude. I literally run out of mouse pad. It's wild. I've tried single shot mode on LMGs might be more viable. I don't think they have that anymore. You can't change your uh, firing mode anymore. Well, ain't, ain't that a laser? Suppressor is probably not too bad on this gun. Was that 40 damage? That's actually kind of decent damage for an SMG, but the rate of fire is obviously really slow. Okay, flash actually helps out a lot there. I mean, look at that. That's pretty nice. Comp. I don't even know if there's a point in comp. Actually, maybe the the inverse of that logic is that if you have comp, then you don't have to worry about the horse, uh, the uh, the random horizontal deviation at all. And you just have to pull down. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Muzzle brake actually might work on this gun because of that 550 fire rate. Like a typewriter. Mm -hmm. They're selling machines. 
Hmm. This one's going to be close. I think you can honestly get away with anything here, but muzzle's probably not too bad. Because you really want to hit that head, right? So this will kind of help you out a little bit with that. The muzzle, just going for the tap fires. No, no angle grip, so that makes that easy. All right. Extended barrel, 20 meters. One, two. Damn. 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 Okay. So, so much for fucking um, Thatcher at 20 meters is dead. 30. Mm, now that's a little more tough to justify, maybe. I don't know. Let's go for a spray. Ah, wow. Wow. That is so easy to control. That's... It's criminal, honestly. Can you actually hit all the spray? Let me try to hit the entire spray. 24. So I only missed six shots out of that entire spray with an extended barrel. So that's no recoil mitigation, and I'm still hitting shots like that. Yeah, I think I think you're fine. As long as it's not like super bouncy, like left right. You're also cav interrogation. Yeah, but you can get a little spawn peek in. Why not? I don't know. It seems. Hmm. Maybe if they recycled this gun on somebody, I don't know who. That'd be interesting to see. I think the M249 situation is weird because one of them has a box and the other one has mags, and I think they're pretty much identical. Aside from that, I think the only difference is the capacity and the reload times. Oh, no suppressor. Huh, that's interesting. I guess I forgot all about that. Uh, yeah, that is kind of interesting. I mean, I guess we can take the muzzle attach off just for the comparison. We gotta get that one bullet. Hold on. That's important. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, and it does that, like, thing that the LMGE does as well. Alright, flash hider... Yeah, it's like by pulling the mag or by pulling the barrel down, it's like pulling it to the right. So weird. It is it is very trippy. Here. Cop might be the play, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like for LMGs it's probably just gonna be You count. just you wanna make it into like a Negev, you know. You just want like the only point you run LMGs in this meta right now is to just like go up to an Ang and oh, just like man. And like post plant, like you're on a doorway, and it's like, okay, he has to swing. And then you just do this, and that's it. That's the, that's like that's what LMGs do. But I still might want to run the para anyway. Oh right, we got to do that. Oh no. <laughs> Again, I don't know what kind of lunatic, what kind of nutcase. I mean, like, why would you even? I don't know. It's just so much like faster, like upwards. Yeah, it just immediately starts kicking. Yeah, it, it's weird because it's at the same height, mm -hmm. but it gets there faster. Yeah. And it's less bullets. It's super weird. Yeah, I don't really get the point on angled on any of on any of the LMGs to be honest. I mean, you should really just be playing in a supportive role with these weapons anyway. So highly requested M4. I was using. Vertical and yeah. suppressor on it. And now you can run this cool looking suppressor good. on it, and it's, you know, it's viable. Close. Yeah. One sentence summary on why Twitch bad now. Don't want to watch a 20 minute vid. Uh, Go to the Twitch Twitter account. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like, that's not that bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. This pressure's pretty bad. So, uh, He's on to something, chat. If you play every match, like, you're not overconfident, but. You play like you're the best player in the server. That's what I found. Not with overconfidence, but just keep the fact in your mind that you're the best player in the lobby. That's what I started doing in CS. I might run comp on this. Moist critical is teenage Coco Melon. That is funny. That is a really tight group. That's really nice. All oh, right, we didn't do the we didn't do the Nike test. Comp. Uh, that, yeah, comfort, yeah. So that's for the aggro boys. That's super aggro. What's the damage rating on this thing? 44. I was gonna say, it's it was like... It used to be before the R4C nerf, it was yeah. like the same. I want to say, or like a one or two... 
44 is pretty. Yeah, it's really high. I'm not a mathematician. I can't do the math, man. It is 7 in the morning. 132 at uh, at 20 is pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty nice. 123 at 30 is also really high. But how much are you going to be, like, getting into gunfights like this, though? Maybe if it was on a different operator. Like, I could see it if you were on, like, a dedicated entry fragger, but not on Mav. Because you shouldn't be exposing yourself to these kinds of fights in the first place. No. Like, you should avoid these at all costs. Vert suppressor or, yeah, some kind of... Maybe if you want to play a little more aggro, you can run angled and then another, like, re recoil attach. That's pretty, that's pretty solid. Yes, I am very interested. Okay, well, the M762's back. <laughs> that's pretty... I haven't even used it that much, I'm going to be honest. I mean... That thing with comp is going to... Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Why does... The flash is so weird. You can do one. It yeah, made it... Flash? I don't know what they did to Flash, man. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, I'll show you the AR-33 after the stream if you're still on, but that is really weird. Let me try the comp. That's very, uh... At any point, I am unwelcome. Nah, you're good. It's good. When we're, when we're streaming, it's good to have, like, that little bit of back and forth. Make it feel, like, more like a live show. Like a talk show. Oh my gosh. He's back. Is this one of those situations where muzzle isn't bad? Hey yo, like the recoil isn't, or the, the the fire rate isn't low, but it's low enough, I think. You can get away with the tapa tapas. I want a barrel now. Dude, they're so hot. They are, especially the stock that they have. It's like, it's like everything about a NATO rifle. It's like, it's like all the cool factor of like a Soviet rifle combined with the, with the like sophistication of a NATO rifle. It's fucking badass. I don't think angled is great. I think it's a little too floaty. Too much sauce. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of, it, it wants to like, it wants to like fly away on you. Yeah. I think, I think foregrip might be the play here if you want to run, um, this is going to be a lot like Jackal's gun, where it's like, I wouldn't run it naked. I think you should have some kind of recoil mitigation. If you want to do foregrip and uh, suppressor, or if you want to do like uh, comp and angled, I think those are both viable options. Uh, no extended barrel, so we'll just uh, fly, into, fly on to the next one. One of the worst assault rifles, 40 damage, 585 fire rate. That's like, that's that's some doo-doo that's some butt cheeks. That's pretty bad. Why does it go left? Why does it even have, like, a deviation? I mean, I guess it's low, but still, that's kind of a pain in my, my rear. Okay, wow, that's actually, like, a really, really tight spray. It just goes left, though. It just keeps going left. <laughs> like, that's the only recoil it has is just left. It sucks IRL, too. I didn't know that. Yeah, scars are weird. Uh, don't they cost like more than a fucking like, like three arm grand. and a leg? Three grand? In their dog shit. Why? They feel cheap, man. They feel cheap. The earlier gens have a reciprocating charging handle, so you can't hold it the way you want to use it. That's so dumb. Jeez. Yeah, that's really. Oh yeah, you can't hold it like towards the like front of the the. Yeah. yeah. You can't like thumb over like how normal people do. That's dumb. So if you want to have um. On your top rail, if you want to have like a switch for a light or a laser, you're just you're just out of luck. Yeah, it has like no recoil, but the damage stinks, man. It's awful. Forty. I just don't really get the point in using this thing. I think you should probably just run the uh, the SR. Seeing that the DMRs aren't that bad, man. Yeah. I don't get the DMR hate, man. I've always found semi-auto guns to to be more fun than uh, satisfying. A lot of guns. Do the 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 foul in uh, Modern Warfare 2019. That shit went hard. Uh, what if you put an extended barrel on this gun just to be like the biggest spawn peaking douche in the world? <laughs> Hold on. You just you just you reverse spawn peak. 120 and three. That's not bad. You just put your shield on and you just you just hold them on the angle. If you do this, you're you're the biggest douche canoe in the game. I don't really get the point. I mean, I think there are better guns for anti-spawn peak. Also, you have an SR25. I mean, like, look at the damage on this thing. This thing is crazy. Oh, 
don't know what the worst DMR is statistically. Look at that, 122 and 2? Damn. Goodbye. I feel like... I feel like they all have the same damage the DMRs do. Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. Maybe the EBR doesn't. Nope. <laughs> nope, that's still a fucking... Yeah, that's a cannon. I just... I don't even know... There's no point in even talking about the Blackbeard AR because it's just... It, it just sucks. Just run the SR who's, and it, who's, like... Who, who's playing Blackbeard? Like, just don't. Yeah, America. next. America. America moment. Kaboom. Who dat? Yo, you still gamery? <laughs> Nah, I'm recording a video right now. Shooting all Sorry, guns. I'm shooting every gun. <laughs> Hello, outtakes. Hello, outtakes. I don't have viewers. Nobody watches my stream. I'm going to shut it off. Wow, that actually just, like, goes up into the right. Mm. All right, flash. Is this a permanent switch to YouTube? What made you want to do it? Uh, Twitch, this stinks. Twitch bad. Wow, what the... F Why does it go... Like, it goes away to the right, and then it goes back. Uh, little known fact, Greg is actually... Um pivoting to gambling content and that's why we're yeah i got i got really fed up with uh with twitch's liberal <laughs> bullshit dude it's getting pretty cringe so comp might be to play on this gun i think yeah i'm running comp probably because i i have to hit the head with this gun or i'm dead anyway so i might as well take as much recoil mitigation as i can get so suppressor is not really useful in my opinion i mean i guess you can probably still run it and get away with it if you're like bolo it does have angle grip though which is kind of pog Uh, hmm. No, no, no. No, it's not that. Ah, I don't like it. Yeah, nah. Too high. Yeah, MP5, I mean, it's, the problem isn't, it's not that it, it does, like, it, it's not a, a lot of recoil. It's just that when you're aiming exclusively for the head, it's enough to fuck you up. Like, you have to hit the head with this gun or you lose the gunfight, pretty much. That's just how it is. So I think you should try to, you know, take attachments that are going to make it easier for you. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rook spawn peek. Here I go. Okay, that's Ash. Ash and four. And you're probably just going to hit the head anyway. I mean, at that point... Hmm, one, two, three, four, five. That's still kind of low. I mean, I guess that's okay. <sighs> Shouldn't you be aiming for the head anyway? You know, the more you think about it, I don't know. If I'm gonna go for headshots, I might as well just put like comp on. You want the least amount of recoil. Dude, that's that's a laser beam. That is a laser beam. Yeah, it's MP5. Bro. That is so much less recoil. Yeah, comp, 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 comp's the way to go. Uh, I'm MP, sure MP5K. They took they took away my 1.5. They took away my crush. How dare they? How dare you? I know, this is how I know they're watching my videos, because as soon as I made that joke, as soon as I was like, hey, this is, like, really good. I like it so much that, in fact, it's probably, like, a perfect gun. And they were like, oh, yeah, we should probably nerf that. Sorry, guys. Five Best no magnification scope. Bruh, if you... Stop. Stop it. T-Hunt. T-Hunt. All right. Uh, shouldn't yeah, be surprised by this one. The AUG A3, that's yeah. I messed up with the one from five off of both of Hmm... The reason that I ran this gun was for the headshots. I never really got anything out of damage. Uh, never really got anything out of hitting yeah, the body. Uh, so I think you should probably take... I, honestly, I think you can still go for the MP5K roam on mute, but on Wamai, I'd just run the AUG. So if you still want to run MP5K, I think that era is not as strong as it used to be, but on mute, for the mute roam, it's pretty decent. So let's get the flash hider on there. Yeah. Okay, um, that's pretty I nice. Use hollow B because I have an aim point. Or not hollow B. I use red dot B because I have an aim point in real life. <laughs> I'm basically an operator. I yeah, you basically are, LARP. man. I don't LARP on a flat range. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a LARPer, dude. I promise. I swear. Aim point pro doesn't count. No, I'm not an aim point pro. I'm an actual aim point. Red dot. I have it on my hey. carbine. Hey, Greg. What's up? The vortex is if I played you, C, I think. What? If I played you in 2K, how badly am I smacking you? Pretty bad. I don't know shit about basketball, bro. Yeah, I mean, Airsoft is really LARPing for some people. Some, people some Yeah, some LARP people LARP su full, super fucking hard in Airsoft. Out, dude. Like, they're buying what the fuck is LARPing? Live action role play. Live action role play. It's just so basically be, be, being, like, cringe as fuck. 
Yeah. Super That's cringe. I don't know. Yeah. It's cardio, so it's based. Live action role play. All right. Uh, you guys Twenty want meters. A live action role play the Civil War thing. I see people do that in movies all the time. They'll, they'll do that. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna play mute. Here's the scenario. I'm gonna play mute. I'm gonna put my jammers up, and then I'm gonna go spawn peek with my extended barrel. <laughs> uh, you, you SMG 11. Angled. Oh no. Angled muzzle. Angled muzzle. On the SMG 11. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather not. You should. You should. You should. I should not. Whoa. Hell no. Hell nah. Valorant, Valorant just said you were a report of a player sabotaging team was verified, and the player you reported was penalized. Thanks for helping keep our community safe. <gasps> Yay! I can't believe you would install a rootkit on your PC to ban someone from Valorant, the multiplayer video game produced in China. Yeah, I'm cheating. Can't believe you would do that. Dude, these Adam Levine memes were funny, and now they're just not. Yeah, I don't think extended is the play on this gun. I think you should try to get as much recoil um, reduction as you can because you're not going to kill with body shots. You got to hit the head. Take it from somebody who loved this thing with a 1.5. You have to hit the head or you lose. I, I love this gun, but you got to hit the head. Make sure that's true for I'm going to miss that 1.5 so bad, bro. All right. Oh. <laughs> well, that made it easy. <laughs> Can't really test a lot here. Versus vertical. Pretty much. That was something I, I kind of liked about the MP5 SD is that... It's that it had angled in, in the other MP5 driven. Yeah. And also, you ran suppressor and you didn't get shit for it because you had to. So you could kind of get away with it. Plus, it's just... Oh, uh, God. So, it's so hot. You know, the MP5 SD is just... It, it's, it's just... Look at that. Still think that Nook should have gotten there. I agree, bro. I agree so hard. It would have fit That's her, nuts. like, the angle yeah. Bench. This is a laser gun. You can get away with running angled on it, I think. I, I did. So I'm like that. I'm him, I think. Yeah, I think angled's fine. Either or. It really depends on what you want to do. One. Just one. And then I'm going to sleep. Wow. Okay, that's, uh... PL matches started at 6.30. I made it. I was so close. Flash is pretty decent on this gun because there's no, like, side-to-side -side at all. I might run Flash, honestly. Or Suppressor. One of the two. Yeah, if I'm going to run, um, if I'm going to run recoil mitigation, I'll probably run, uh, Flash. Yeah, it was Flash. This is one of the few guns in the game where the iron sights are actually, they actually go, like, hard. Because I'm insane, the MP5 and all the HK pattern stuff. Yeah, these are really nice sights. I actually like these more than the... Um, Commando's not bad. Either. Yeah. It's just like a post. Because it doesn't, like, it doesn't block a lot of vision at all. Like, it's, it's really so clear and easy to see. It's ridiculously thin. Yeah. You know? uh, let's try extended. Or so, okay, 32. Okay, so that's Thatcher from 20 meters. And that's Ash from 30. So you need five for everybody else that's not Ash. Uh, nah. Not doing it for me. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, to use the MP7, you wanna be like, you don't wanna be outside of 20 meters with this gun, because there's a little bit too much, like, wiggly wobbly. A little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you're just gonna spawn peek with the MP7, you just, you just nut up and you just hit the head. Okay, so that's pretty... There's like a little bit of whoop, then it goes back. Any tips for us Clash mains? Uh, get off Clash. Get on a useful operator. I'm, ki I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, hallways and staircases are your friend. And Jaeger ADSs. It's it My just... Life. <laughs> Try life. <laughs> touch, touch, grass. touch grass. Get a job. What happened with Twitch, if you don't mind me asking? Um, there's no incentive to stay on that platform anymore because the... Um, 70-30 uh, revenue split is something that I will never get, so fuck it. I just don't care anymore. I'm, I'm out. That is a straight line, and then it goes right. It's a straight line, and it goes right. Like, literally. That little curve. That is, that she is a little, she, like... She a little curvy. But hey. Nothing wrong with that. Skinny women <laughs> cannot do a goddamn thing for you. Hey, chat.
Tom Hanks said it. It has to be true. As a character on a <laughs> SNL skit. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> I think about it every day. I think about, I think about this every day. What is skinny women can do this for you? What is not a goddamn What is not thing? a goddamn thing? <laughs> and everyone goes nuts. <laughs> Spot the lie. This dude's spitting. Mm, comp. I'm thinking comp. I was going to say, angle. Probably not bad. It's not. That's actually really solid. It likes to go yeah. left. Bro, I'm, those all look the same. <laughs> I'm being honest, they look all pretty similar. Corporate wants you to find the difference between this picture and that picture. Yeah, really. They, look, they really look pretty, pretty similar. It just looks like AK, like patterns and CS. <laughs> it kind of does. Uh... I guess you might be fighting like the cigar no. guy from this distance, maybe like ticket, like maybe you feel like the back of white. No. You brought an angled suppressor, right? So, for the one time in your thousands of hours of gameplay, when they put down a smoke, you can spam through the smoke and there's no tracers. That's why you run su suppressor. Good it's point. Because if you don't, if you aren't running it, you will never get to have that moment. That's a very good point. It's like Viper. It's like Viper and Valorant. That's why I always run the Phantom. For the swag moments. Mm hmm. Extended. Who would do this? Falk, 26. This is going to be goofy as fuck. He disconnected. <laughs> Have you seen that? No, <laughs> I haven't seen that meme. Train. So I don't really get the point in extended barrel then. Yeah, that sucks. Hey, guys, look. He used a stun. He used a stun. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. I think at this point, you might as well just run compensator and then shoot the head. There's no point in going for body shots with the MPX. Real real like the damage rating is just too low man 26 is way too low uh yeah i mean suppressor i think suppressor for grip and then yeah if you want angled i guess you can go for that too if you're if you're a beast if you're if you're a man run angled and suppressor be a man okay i'm in a hawaiian shirt because everything is in the laundry right now so mx4 uh alibi crazy sweaty bolo peaker gun of choice pretty linear there's a little bit of deviation towards the left at the end Flash. Okay, so you can see that the pull down does kind of happen there towards the beginning of the spray. So it's definitely a headshot machine. You want to go for headshots. The uh, the body shot damage isn't really high enough to justify anything else, but it is good for getting those headshots, especially with this 1.5. And there seems like a bit of a personal preference thing right now. Although I will say... I do like the uh, the flash just for that little burst at the beginning, but I think suppressor is also decent. Muzzle. You guys know how I feel about muzzle on auto guns. Yeah, so these are all pretty much the same. It just, like, use whatever the hell you want. Okay, let's do the Nike test. Angled suppressor. No recoil adjustment at all. It starts to climb pretty quickly there. But as you can see, it is still linear. So it is, you know, just a lot of pull down for the most part. So if you can pull down, then, you know, it's not too bad. But it will deviate towards the end of the spray, so you don't want to, like, continually spam. Like, that's the spray that you want to go for. Let's do some peaks. Okay. Now, as you can tell, there is a little bit of muzzle climb there. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that, that headshot. That's, you know, that's the whole point of this. So, you can definitely, uh, can, you definitely can hit a really solid spray on the head with this, uh, with this setup. But it's just going to require you to pull down a lot. Uh, I think it's up to you. I think you can get away with running uh, minimal recoil changes, but reminder that the further away you are, the more of a pain in the ass it's going to be. So, you know, as you can tell, if you're going to fight from long distance, that's really the only um, reason that you want to run recoil adjustments on this gun. Let's check out Verdi and, of course, the extended barrel. Okay, that's a, that's a five-shot ash kill from 30 meters. I don't know if that's really worth it. Okay, kills Thatcher. Well, kills three armors and five from that distance. I mean, like I said, you should be going for the head. I mean, that's that's the shot you want to hit, not not the body. So extended barrel to me, kind of a waste. You know, if you're not gonna run suppressor, you should probably just run um, you know 
either suppressor and foregrip or flash hider or comp and angle grip, I think, are both solid options on the MX-4. All right, the P-10 Roni. This gun's uh, it's had a controversial past, putting it lightly. Pretty small magazine, 16 bullets, and, uh, you know, at least the recoil is fast, right? But that's kind of it. And it's supposed to not really have that much recoil, theoretically. And it doesn't. It doesn't even get... Doesn't even doesn't even really get past the uh, the middle of this target flash hider. All right, well that actually does make a discernible difference, I guess. As you can see there, manages to pull down the spray by about two and a half bullets. Compensator, and that basically makes no difference. So I would not run comp muzzle. Oh, angled. Let's let's do the uh, suppressor test here. I forgot that the uh, this gun had angled grip. Okay, so that's a pretty significant amount of recoil compared to what you had before. It looks like the attachments actually uh, really affect the spray on this gun a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think you can... It's not like it's impossible to hit the head. But I wouldn't run suppressor with angle grip on this gun. I'd probably run flash. I... I think you can you can get away with it, but it's not as um, reliable, especially when we get to further distances. Let's get the extended barrel out here. Damage on this gun is really low, so. Okay, 104 at 20. 105 at 30. If you're going to be firing from these distances with this kind of barrel, uh, the Command of 9 is definitely better at that, objectively, and so is the DMR, so, like, why are you doing this. I don't know. Yeah, don't bother. Don't bother with extended barrel. Get recoil reduction. Get a little bit of it. Maybe not a full amount, but some, at the very least. All right, everybody knows how I feel about my P90. I, this is one of my... I think this is one of the most slept-on guns in the game. It's got really easy-to-control recoil. It's just... There, there's a lot. It, you know, it's not it's not perfect by any means, but it has a big magazine, and the recoil is not too bad. Let's see how it looks in Brutal Swarm. Okay, so pretty much a straight line. That's, you know, just, just pull down. Easy. Easy peasy, right? Uh, I mean... Kind of a difference, but not really that much. Let me try hitting a spray with it. Yeah, it's not terrible. Muzzle break. Hmm. For some reason, it seems to go uh, more in a straight line there. Or maybe I lied. I don't know. Probably going to run Compensator on this thing. Or Suppressor. Of course, it has Extended Barrel, but the damage rating at 22 it doesn't look like it's doing it much favors. No angled grip, so... Alright, 20 meters. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so Thatcher and Gridlock and 5 and 6 at 20 meters, respectively. Wow. No. <laughs> no, dude. 
no, no, no extended barrel. Would not recommend. Either I think you know the gun doesn't really have that much recoil, so just you know for freaking run whatever you want, suppressor, recoil reduction, whatever. I just don't think there's a point in running extended because the benefit isn't you know it doesn't even give you anything worthwhile. So whatever. Para 308. This thing has 48 damage, which is even higher than the L85, which is noteworthy for its high damage. All right, base recoil with the foregrip. And there's not much to complain about there. Let's try a flash hider. Okay, so it kind of stopped the pattern from deviating um, de uh, upward towards the middle there, but then towards the end, I don't think it's really that much of a difference. Mind you, the fire rate is pretty low. Okay, we're looking at a uh, pretty base, pretty standard chart here. Hmm. Ah, not looking like a lot of differences here, guys. Might just go with suppressor. All right, angled. Angled suppressor, let's see. Oh, it's got the two times as well. This gun also has the two times scope. See, that's so linear that I feel like you can just pull down and you'll be okay. Wow, I mean, that's really easy to control. Lots of damage. I mean, is there anything to complain about here? This is pretty nice. Yeah, honestly, you might be able to get away with running this gun naked. All right, let's try out the extended barrel. All right, here we go. One, two... 96, wow. Ooh, goodbye, Doc. Three shots, goodbye, Doc. Goodbye, Doc, and wow! Three shots from 30 meters. Whoo! 135? Dude, that is... Wow. That is a three shot... That's... So, to put that into perspective, that's with less recoil than a DMR, right? That's fucking... Okay. This is fully automatic. And, like, not that much recoil to begin with. That's crazy. I might want this gun recycled on somebody. I mean, I think it's fine on Capital. For this purpose, you know, it's a little bit of a niche thing, but, like, damn, dude. Keep in mind, we're not just talking about spawn peaks. You know, you, you're also going to get some kind of play out of this in um, really, really long quarters. But, I mean, if I'm Capital, like, I'm, I spawn... Uh, south on on villa like i'm going for the south balcony and then i get hit by the uh by the master bedroom peak i can just like dead dude that's really good okay so I, you might be able to get away with extended on this gun um because the recoil is not that great i mean you know with the foregrip you can manage it really easily and the damage output is really high so if it floats your boat i say go for it whatever all right i got the pdw for jackal and osa let's go Okay, that's a little ridiculous. That's just that, like... All right, we, we might be, uh... I don't know. Flash hider? Okay. Okay, I think it definitely makes a difference. But I don't know how much, like... I'm actually overcompensating with that. Wow. That's not too bad. Comp. All right, this is looking like a do-whatever-you-want kind of situation here. I mean, th look at that. That's just not even... That's pretty insane. That's a laser beam. That is a straight up laser beam. Like, it doesn't matter what attachment you use. I'm willing to bet that even with angled grip, it's not going to be that bad. Yeah, almost the exact same deviation. It just gets to the top a little bit faster. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty doable. Laser. Beamed. 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 Yeah, I think you can get away with this setup here. All right. Now, this thing has an extended barrel for some reason. One, two, three, four. Eh, I mean, you're not going to be fighting from this kind of distance anyway. And if you are, you might as well just get the recoil reduction for the uh, for the headshot if you're fighting from that far. Yeah, I can't say I recommend extended. It's a little bit too much of a niche thing there. At this point, if you're fighting at this kind of distance, why don't you just run the 5.56 or the uh, the C7E, you know? So that kind of defeats the purpose. You want to play aggro with this thing? You want to take really aggressive gunfights. Don't, I wouldn't ex I wouldn't recommend extended. Oh, R4 has angled now. I don't know if everybody knew that. That's a little, that's a little interesting, isn't it? Here we go. Suppressor. Okay. I mean, it's not a G36, but that's still pretty decent. 39 damage. So let's try out flash. I mean, it helps a tiny bit. But I'm thinking you might just need compensator on here. Because that rightward deviation is a lot. And it kind of helps, but not really. 
Mm, it's better than nothing. I'm definitely not thinking you're going to get away with uh, no recoil mitigation here. I would not run it naked. Let's give it a shot. I don't think I'm going to like this. I don't like this. I don't like that. That's not good. That's, yeah, that's not, that's not, that's too much trouble. Too much trouble than it's worth. So some recoil mitigation is necessary here. I don't even know if I'd run suppressor on this, to be honest. Uh, you know, the R4C is back, but you still got to put attachments on it. All right, so this does have 39 damage, so maybe the extended does something here. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so 156 and 4 from 20. And then 108 from 30 and 3. Uh, there goes Doc and 4. But, like, I'm not going to hit that spray, man. I'm just not. So I would not run extended. I would not run naked. Uh, you should put some kind of recoil control on. I'd honestly just put foregrip and uh, comper flash on, if I'm being 100% with you. All right, one of my personal favorites, the tactical tuna boat. I freaking love this gun. Not only does it look totally badass, but it's got a 45 damage rating, a decently high rate of fire, and it's easy to control. It just goes straight up. No frills. Now, if you want to, you can also run Flash Hider. That's how a lot of people uh, used to run it. And it does make a difference. It certainly does. Compensator. You know, actually, I might start running Compensator. But then again, it doesn't seem that much different than the Suppressor pattern. So, like, what the heck's the difference, right? Might as well just run Suppressor, you know? Weirdos out there running Muzzle Break. Apparently, Muzzle Break is good. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with these tests. That's all the pro leaguers are telling me. I don't know, but, like, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference, you know? All right, Nakey. This is not something I would recommend. For that reason, I think that's just a little bit too high. Just a tiny bit. Angled and a flash hider, sure. Maybe not suppressor. Yeah, it's a little... Not, not a fan of that. But maybe suppressor foregrip. You know, that's something that I showed you earlier. I am a big fan of that. All right, extended barrel. Here we go. I haven't really tried extended barrel on this gun that much. Uh, 40 damage rating. It should do something. Okay, 135 and 3. That's pretty decent. I mean, a 3-shot kill from that distance is okay. But then again, you know... I'm still going to try to hit the head. Do that again. 1, 2, 3. 126 and 3 from that distance. Not terrible, but... If the kick is high enough for me to kind of go... Eh. Like, is it really worth it? I don't know. I personally, I, I, I'm more comfortable with Suppressor on this gun just because it just kind of fits the vibe. Uh, like, I'm not going to really expose myself to these kinds of gunfights very often. And so with Suppressor, you know, especially with the, with the way that you, like, place your cams, you know, you get on a cam, you see somebody, oh, there's somebody over there, and then you want to bullet spam. Well, you don't want the people to know the, the tracer direction, right? You don't want that threat indicator to go off so they can beam you. So I, I personally really like Suppressor on this gun, but... Uh, you know, you can run more recoil adjustment if you want to, but I would not recommend extended barrel. All right, the Scorpion. This one's going to be a fun one. Wow, look at look at that. To the left, to the left. Look at that. Okay. Now, I did run suppressor on this gun a little bit, and I didn't hate it, but it uh, doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> Flash. Okay, that does seem to make a tiny difference. But you shouldn't be spraying like that. Because then you're just gonna, it's just gonna go to the left a lot. Maybe comp? Let's see comp. And well, it kinda helped. You gotta pull down like a motherfucker. Jeez. I'm thinking maybe comp. Muzzle, I don't really get the point in. The, the, the problem with Ella is that like Thorn just like does the job so much easier because that gun is so much easier to use. And like, it, it's just, this is fun. Don't get me wrong. It's fun to get kills with this gun, but like, is it worth it? Oh god, suppressor angled. Here we go. Super gunner mode. Doesn't look terrible. It probably feels terrible. I mean... Maybe there's an argument to be had at close range, but... This thing has too much horizontal deviation for me to not want to, want to run compensator on it. Like... It's just too much, man. Yeah, so I think comp's almost mandatory. Maybe foregrip suppressor. I have done that in the past. 
Uh, but yeah, this gun is just a pain in the ass to control, man. It's fun to get kills with when you get them, but it's not, you know, it's not my first option. I'll just put it that way. I just did this whole section without hitting record again. Awesome. Okay, here's a long short of it. It's an SMG 11. It goes up and you pull down. It goes up, you pull down. Up, up, pull down. Up, pull down. Either hit the head or kill with the body shot. Flash hider. Massive, massive upward kick reduction here. Check it out. I don't get the point in because the gun doesn't really go left or right. It just goes up. Who cares why? Pull the pull down. Only goes up. Pull down. Muzzle break. Again, people want to use this on like I don't know why. Pull down. Pull down, bro. Here's a suppressor and ankle grip. If you're a fucking lunatic, this is, this is a great this is a great option if you're a crazy person. If you're completely insane, go for it. Yeah, that's great. If you smoke crack, you know, ankle grip and suppressor might be the might be the play for you. Who, who's using this? I want names. Just, uh... Extended barrel? Why is this gonna have extended barrel? Who's using this? Again, I, w I want names. Alright, I'm reporting you to the FBI. Okay? Because you need to be stopped. Oh, 109 and 4 from 20. Looks good, right? Who's doing this? Fuck off. Uh, run some kind of recoil mitigation here. Maybe foregrip suppressor. I think that's okay. Uh, but foregrip flash hider. I mean, it's a machine pistol. The ADS is so freaking quick anyway. Who needs angled grip, right? SMG 12. Uh, well, you either get angled grip or vertical grip. This one's going to be short. I like the SMG 12. Really slept on gun. But that's the reason people don't like it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I think, personally, if you're running angled grip on this gun, you might be a psychopath. Yeah, you pretty much have to hit the head or, or like GG. I just, uh, just run, just run for grip, man. Now we got a gun that's very slept on. This thing's basically a pocket foul. It has very similar stats, actually. Thirty-three damage, fire rate of nine eighty. Uh, magazine size isn't really that big, but the DPS, uh, the actual DPS output is really, really solid. I never actually used this gun with suppressor. I'm kind of curious to see what it's like. Let's try it out. Okay, let's give it a give it a whirl. I mean, that's pretty. You know, there's a lot of randomness there towards the end, but for the first burst, that'll usually take people down like right at the jump. So, you know, it's not terrible. But this is what I run on it, flash. And that's the reason why. <laughs> uh, comp, you know, we'll, we'll reduce that side to side kick. So maybe there's a there's an argument to be had there. Oh, my bad. Uh, you know, it keeps it from deviating too much to the left there. But, like, I don't... Uh, that is so strange. I don't know. It just... It literally goes, like... Yeah, it's not meant to be sprayed. So, I'd probably run comp or flash. One of the two. So, I'd probably run flash, personally. Because with comp, the side-to-side -side kick doesn't even really get mitigated. Yeah. Muzzle's okay. But yeah, it just goes to the left no matter what you do. So just don't, you know, probably don't hold down mouse one too much. Okay, extended barrel. There's 33 damage here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really sure what the purpose would be. Okay. I mean, remember, we have this... Oh, wow. Whoopty, whoopty freaking do. Let's try to spray from this distance. I mean, like, are you serious? I guess. Just get out your Cali sniper at that point. That is a pretty solid spray from there. I'll give it that. But, like, I don't know. It's too risky for me to justify. I think you're better off just running a flash hider to be 100%. I just, yeah, I don't really see it. Thunderbird Spear. This is uh, this is kind of a sleeper pick here. Uh, lots of uh, pro league guys have been popularizing this. Uh, content creators, especially Pox. I know he's a big fan of Suppressor on Spear just because it sounds really cool. 42 damage. Not a lot of recoil. So, Yeah, not much to complain about there. Flash Hider time. Eh, you know, it makes a difference, but how much of a difference? 700 rate of fire, so maybe muzzle break comes in handy here. Compensator. Eh, 
I mean, I think I'd just rather run suppressor, honestly. I mean, if I'm gonna hold mouse one, there's not much recoil to begin with, right? Let's break. Okay, we might have a winner there. Probably one of the few situations where I don't think muzzle's too bad. You know, because the recoil's already so low. You can make an argument that it's like, okay, you know, hit the head a little bit easier with the taps. If you want to tap fire with the muzzle break, that's cool. But I think uh, suppressor, really anything here is fine. Let's see what extended barrel looks like from a distance. Oh, we got to run the, uh, does this thing have angled now? It does. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's check it out. I forgot this thing had angle grip now. Okay, so a little bit more difficult to control. Not awful. I mean, it's still pretty linear. Been spending most of our lives living in a peeker's paradise. I can dig it. I mean, it's not what I would use, but I can see somebody using it. Probably just run foregrip, honestly. Because I'm not going to be taking really aggressive fights like this. I'm going to be... Uh, I want as much recoil... You know, some form of recoil control, especially from... Long distance, I'm not going to be playing, you know, really, really close up. Going to take advantage of that 42 uh, damage rating. All right, four grip, and then we're going to put extended on. So 42 damage, it should be good. One, two, three. Ooh, okay, okay. 30? Mm, you know? You know? Uh, I mean, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about this one. Because, like, it's good. But is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, I feel like you can just hit the head anyway. It'll definitely help you kill with body shots. So maybe there's an argument for Thunderbird to go for this. I think, uh... I don't know. I think you can get away with it. But you have to keep in mind, you're gonna really need to take advantage of those longer sight lines. And that's something that isn't gonna be in as common when you're indoors. I think this is great for spawn peeking with Thunderbird. Um, Finka, I think you're going to be playing more aggressively with, so maybe just, uh, try to get as much recoil control as you can for closer gunfights. There is an argument to be made here. I think the spear's pretty modular. I think you can really run whatever the hell you want. All right, this will be interesting. T5 time. T time. Suppressor. All right, now, what, what do you have to complain about there? I mean, come on. Flash. Like, you can put a foregrip on this now, and it has recoil reduction with the flash hider. So you you can combo it up. Comp. Mmm. Don't know if comp's great. Not seeing much of a difference between that and suppressor. Muzzle. Just run freaking, just run flash. I mean, like, what's the point? All right, suppressor, angled. All right, can we peek it? Let's do the peek. Everybody do the peek. Beamed. 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 Didn't beam that time, but I beam most of the time. Beamed. Okay, I think you can get. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Um, the problem is, if what happens if they get too far away? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. So the question remains: Does that mean extended is worth it? Twenty-eight damage. I don't know. Let's find out. Eh. So it kills Ash from that range. 110 and 5. I mean, let's pretend you're Oryx, I guess, right? I don't know. Eh. At this point, I think you might as well just take the extra recoil reduction and aim for the head. That is a pretty tight spray at 20 meters, though. I don't know. It's not It's not awful. But you know what I'd rather run? I'd rather run Suppressor, personally. I mean, wow. Look at that. That's already a pretty solid time to kill. I mean, like, wh what do you have to complain about there? 
I'm not thinking extended. I think suppressor's good. I think uh, even angled and suppressor is good. It's a laser beam. Pull down. Ying's T95. Kind of a weird one. It's an LMG, but it handles a lot more like an assault rifle. 46. This gun also makes a cool noise with the suppressor. Let's see if it, uh, it gets really screwed by the LMG rating here. Oh, not too... Wow. Okay, and then you got a little thing there at the end. Pretty much handles like a like an AR. I mean, 46 damage is pretty high. Flash hider. Yeah, I mean. It's only when you get to the end of the spray where it becomes kind of a pain in the ass. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty solid. I'm going to stop there. I think you get it. Uh, not much difference between any of these, honestly. I might just run suppressor just because of that. Or flash hider. I don't know. Let's try muzzle. I mean, like, whatever, right? This is all the same. Pull down. Pull down. All right. Angle grip. Suppressor. Now it's an LMG, so the angle grip isn't really going to get much of it, you know, compared to, like, an AR and SMG. It's not going to do a lot. Yeah, so me personally, I don't think there's much of an advantage there. I don't know. I, it's tough. It's a tough sell for me just because maybe there's an argument. Okay, I think there's an argument to be had here because you're going to be, you know, you're ying. You're going to be breaching and clearing. You're going to be root tooting, gun shooting, door kicking. But, like... I guess it's doable. I guess it is. I just... Is that... ADS time really... I'd probably just run flash just to get that extra little bit of recoil reduction to make sure I don't miss that shot when I swing around. But, you know, use what you want. I probably wouldn't go with uh, muzzle brake or comp because there's not much of a difference there. Just pull down. Type 89, a fan favorite. Habana's AR. Magazine size is really small, though. That's the kicker. And it goes up and to the right. Okay, so you're better hitting that uh, that first spray, I guess. All right, flash hider. Kind of makes a difference. Comp. Not much difference. Muzzle. And pretty much no difference to the, like, I guess there's the argument to be had there. Angled. Suppressed. There we go. Might be a little bit too high for my tastes. I don't know. Let's see. I'm personally not going to be taking gunfights like this with Habana because she's a hard breach. You kind of want to play it safe a little bit. Not too safe, but safe enough that you don't you know, get picked off before you open up the hatches. So I, I'm probably not going to run angled, but I think some kind of recoil mitigation is fine. Flash, comp, maybe uh, angled and flash foregrip and suppressor or something like that. Options kind of limited here, but I think you can get away with running angle grip with certain attachments. We're almost done. This is the worst gun in the game, or is it? Here we go. UMP45. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. I Flash, may, I guess. I wow. Okay, that is actually pretty significant. But like... Okay. Super laser. Super laser power kaboom. It's almost it's almost too much reduction. <laughs> it's almost like I almost overcompensate. Comp. Who cares? Muzzle. Death. Okay, so it's suppressor or flash for me. Angled? Angled suppress? Let's see. I mean, really, is there anything to complain about there at all? I mean, that's so easy to control. Beamed. I think we got a winner here, folks. It'll probably also work with this attachment. Let's take into account 
We got the 38 damage rating. Maybe. Just maybe. Let's see. 20 meters. 20 meters. That's Thatcher in three from 20 meters. And that's Gridlock. Remember, you're on defense. You're not going to run into a lot of three armors. 30 meters. Hmm. That's Thatcher in four. Now imagine you have a 1.5. I think there's an argument. I think there's an argument to be had. But then again, you're probably going to go for the head, right? So you might as well, I don't know, maybe go for Flash Hider anyway. Okay, here's what I would do. I would be okay with running angled, suppressed on Pulse. Wait, he has a 1.5. I forgot. Let's think about it. Everything is good. Suppressor, angled. You want more recoil reduction for longer range? Go ahead. There's nothing to complain about. I mean, this thing is literally... It's actually... Is it... Is it good? It's not the worst gun in the game. V308, the Franken gun. Here we go. Now, as you can see, this is why I love running suppressor on this. I don't even think. Okay, this is okay. Let's, let, so comp is out of the question. I don't even bother. Oh, nice! I got the white dot bug. Why does that make it? What? Why does flash make it? What? Do I w comp? Wait, what? What the? What? My brain hurts. Muzzle? That's the- what? That's the tightest one! Muzzle break! <laughs> it works! It works on a gun. It works on the V308. Uh, but suppressor works too. In my opinion. Alright, angled grip. I haven't done this one yet. Dude. Have I been doing this wrong the whole time? I have. I have been. Mind you, you know, I play flank watch a lot with this guy, so I might like to have the foregrip on instead there. If you're going to play aggro, angle's good. I would not recommend comp. I would not recommend... Actually, I would not recommend flash hider. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying that. I'd recommend muzzle break. <laughs> muzzle's good. Suppressor's good. Uh, angled or foregrip is good. And last, the vector. Goyle gets a 1.5, which is pretty brazy. It goes up. Pull down. 23 damage rating. Let's try out flash. Maybe. Makes a difference there. Three bullets. This is like, this is a really classic siege recoil right here. Okay, that does nothing. Don't run comp. <laughs> Muzzle. They have the same picture. Okay, suppressor's fine. Flash hydra's fine. Uh, let's get the angle down here. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a shot. And uh, what do you know? It might be doable. Here comes the peak. I suck. Mm, I suck. <laughs> I, uh, too, too much. Too much. Too much. Yeah, no, 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 no. Too much. Flash hider foregrip uh, or flash hider suppressor. Oh, I almost forgot. Mix in a barrel. 23 damage. I mean, I don't know. It looks kind of looks kind of funny. Twenty. Three. Eh, one ten and five at twenty. Who's going for these peaks anyway with a fucking vector? Who's doing this? Who who are you? Stop. Stop. No no no. Don't run. Don't run extended. Okay. If you made it this far in the video, I congratulate you. But you probably didn't. You probably went through 
different guns in the chapter section and then picked what you liked, which is fine too. That's the whole purpose of this video. Once again, I want to give a shout out to Enlisted for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description to download the game for free. The variety in this game absolutely blows me away. Tons of different locations, vehicles, weapons, everything you see on the screen you can use in game. It's cross-platform, available on Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, previous console generations, and PC. Click the link in the description to download it for free, and you'll get a free bonus for signing up. If you want to see more encyclopedias like this for Siege, let me know in the comments down below. And thanks again for watching. Deuces.